Hi, this is Bremley Lingdor, Director of Natural Capital at Earth Bank, uh, reporting from Bromley here in South East London. This message is for our dear fellow citizens back home in Meghalaya, but also especially for our Chief Minister, Conrad Sangma, and our Minister for Forest and Environment, James Sangma. We've been seeing in the news and social media about this whole debate regarding those hundred year old beautiful pine trees that are being cut down for the building of a four lane highway right across Upper Shillong. So my message is that we should fight for Mother Earth, especially in this UN decade for ecosystem restoration with the whole world. And we just commemorated World Environment Day, including in our state, um, asking everyone to restore the balance on earth. So we must practice what we preach. So it's not just about those trees, but the whole state has been depleted. There's been rampant mining, destruction of ecosystems, of watersheds and springs. There are coal, coke factories choking our people with poisonous fumes everywhere. And um, yeah, the, the, the planet is, is in pain and Mother Earth is crying right now. So as concerned, global citizens, and not just the citizens from Meghalaya, we should do our part, not only fighting for those hundred year old trees, but also look at ways how we can find a balance in our so-called development. We must look at achieving those sustainable development goals of the UN. Not only in Meghalaya, not only in India, but for the whole world, we need to think as global citizens. So we had invited Conrad Sangma to our meeting in Co at the Co Palace in Switzerland two years ago to talk about uh, land and security in the context of climate change. It's now even more relevant because we've got just 10 years left to prevent runaway climate change or what we call irreversible climate change. If we don't take action now to protect our fragile life supporting ecosystems, global temperatures will rise to 1.5 or even 2 degrees centigrade in the next 10 to 15 years. Our glaciers are already melting in the Himalayas, releasing crazy weird pathogens and viruses into our water stream and food streams. If those viruses reaches our human bodies through the transfer from birds and bats and bears, we will be in trouble. We're already battling COVID-19 right now. That's just one of the viruses, but there are many more to come if we keep disrespecting and keep destroying our ecosystems. 18 years ago, I was working as an environmental economist with the World Bank in Washington, D.C., looking at economic models to convince our ministers of finance in all the World Bank client countries that we need to balance poverty strategy and development strategies with environmental policies. Two of them. These two are linked, poverty and environment. You cannot go in two different ways. Environment and development need to come together in the context of sustainable development. We need to mainstream this agenda and how we design our policies at every level of government from national to local to regional. So this is what we should do in Megalai. We should show the rest of the country that we could integrate natural capital accounting within the way we measure our GDP or our state GDP. Why not? Those forests, those watersheds, those um, sacred groves have a value. They are worth hundreds of millions of dollars, not just in money right now. They've been servicing us for generations, for centuries. What right do we have to cut down those trees that our ancestors have planted for hundreds and thousands of years? So wake up, fellow citizens, take action now. Don't just criticize your government or your ministers. Each voter, each citizen has a duty, a duty bound to protect your, your state, your people and your ecosystem. So go out and hug those trees like the Chipko movement did in India, those famous ladies who fought for their trees and stop posting just on social media. It's no use, you gotta take action. Action speak louder than words. I mean, that's what all Edmundians have been taught, right? Fakta non verba, deeds not words. We have those same trees in our alma mater in St. Edmunds. It was grown by the Irish Christian brothers. They kept it protected. 
In the same way, we must protect all those trees and plant millions more across the state and reward young people and especially farmers who are protecting our ecosystems, who are practicing organic and regenerative farming. This is what we've been talking to Conrad when we met with our EarthBank team in, in Switzerland two years ago. And EarthBank right now, I'm proud to say, is protecting a huge forest in the Amazonian jungles of Peru on the border of Brazil. It's thousands and thousands of hectares. We are protecting that forest. We are rewarding those communities by giving them carbon credits.